For the drip system I'm installing here at the house, I wanted to have two separate zones. And instead of attaching it to the main sprinkler system, I'm going to show you how to get it done right here from the hose bib. Alfred Castillo here, the Sprinkler Warehouse Pro. Let's get started. For this assembly, you're going to need a dual outlet faucet adapter or Y. Get one that has ball valves in it so that way you could swap the water flow. Two separate head assemblies, each consisting of a backflow preventer, an inline canister filter, a pressure regulator, a compression adapter. I'm also putting mine on timers, so I'm going to need two hose timers and additional swivel adapters to make installation easy. Now I'm cheating here because I just bought two hose bib drip connect kits with hose end timers. I'm starting here at the hose bib and screwing on my Y. Now I'm putting a timer on each side. You may need a swivel adapter to make this work. On each of these items, there should be a little rubber washer. You can pick up a pack of these little rubber washers cheap on sprinklerwarehouse.com. I highly recommend you throw a pack in your cart just in case a washer fell out during shipping and also to have as replacements for when washers get old, which they tend to do. Now to attach the backflow preventer on each. Do notice the lack of pliers or channel locks in my hand. Your hands are the only tools you need here and your hands are the only tools you should use on these parts. Just hand tight. This is the filter. It goes on next. Now a swivel adapter and then pressure regulator so that your drip emitters will work properly and your compression swivel to attach to your mainline poly. Now I'm going to attach the poly first before screwing on the connector. The one I'm using is for half inch. I find that rocking the poly tubing back and forth helps it go on the compression fitting easier. Also, putting the end of tubing in warm water to soften it helps immensely. As a reminder, one of the reasons you installed multiple zones may be that your flow rate from the water source was insufficient to water all your plants at once. Now, if that's the case, you'll want to have your timers set to go off at different non-overlapping times. So what if you need more zones? Well, you may need to install your drip system into an existing irrigation system in that case. However, you could pick up one of these, a brass manifold and then repeat everything I've just done. There's a pretty good chance you'll need to get creative with some adapters and such to get it all to fit in this limited real estate. Questions? We'll chat with one of our superb customer service agents on sprinklerwarehouse.com. They really know their stuff and they'll get you squared away. Remember, Sprinkler Warehouse has everything for your irrigation needs so that your trees, lawns, flower beds and gardens are lush and beautiful. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the most out of our user-friendly shop and compare web store. For Sprinkler Warehouse, I'm Alfred Castillo, your Sprinkler Warehouse Pro.